Well, good morning. I uh, am out driving in this really, really wet and soggy and toasted. Toast is not the right word for it, but wet, rainy day. Which reminds me of a couple stories. The first story is actually a very simple one. Me, my brothers, and a whole bunch of people I know that I'm friends with were playing football. And it was raining. One of the best times we ever had was whenever it rained. We always had something interesting happen. That was always funny. Well, this one guy named Corey, a good friend of mine, and my great. Well, we had this real tiny mud spot, probably about about half half a foot, but it was really wet and muddy in that area. There was a lot of grass, but that was right in the middle of the field that we played in, and it was really grassy at the time because it just rained the last week and then it rained again. We love playing in the rain. Best time to play football because when you go down, it's soft. But anyway, we're playing. And we get to the point where my brother would, my one brother would keep a timer so we actually kept time and all that fun stuff. He would make lines. So we literally made our own field and made it work. And we played football on it. Well, we hit the halftime and we're all kind of standing around taking a break because we always gave ourselves some time to get a break in between quarters and between the halftime. And my friend Corey decided that he wanted to do a baseball slide on this little tiny spot of dirt. So he goes and runs and he slides. He has a really massive slide. I mean, he went on forever. Not literally, but he went on for for as little as that mud puddle was. He slid and that thing just got a little bit bigger. Then another guy said that that would be, then his brother said that would be fun and he slid got a little bit bigger. And then my friend Corey decided to do it again. And he slid. And then he went ahead, then they did a head first slide. Then a couple of other people started sliding. Then me and my brother started sliding. By the time we was done, that 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 little tiny dirt pile was probably about three feet probably. I mean, we were sliding for a long way. And it was so much fun. Then we went back and played football and we probably slid in it several other times. We was muddy. My parents were not happy. But it was just great. We had a blast. Until we went home. Then my mom was upset because she didn't want to do laundry. That was when we started doing our own laundry. Well, that was when we started doing our own laundry when it came to playing football and sports. She's like, I'm not getting my thing dirty and blah, blah, blah. And that don't matter. But it was so much fun. And the reason why I bring up that story is because it is raining. It's downpoured. It's thundered. It's lightning. It is dark, gloomy, but it is a beautiful, dark, gloomy, and beautiful. As crazy as that sounds. That reminds me of a verse from Leviticus 26.4. For the rain will come in its seasons, and the rain will, and the ground will bear fruit, and the ground will bear, let me start over. Leviticus 26.4. I know it, I just can't. I'm not good at actually saying memorized verses and getting the words out right but it says the rain will come in its season and in its season the ground will yield crops and the trees will bear fruit how awesome is that as much as we might hate the rain we love the fact that we have our crops corn green beans strawberries grapes soybeans, wheat, barley, parsley, green peppers, tomatoes, carrots. Without rain, it's not possible. Not saying it couldn't happen, but it's not designed to happen without rain. Strawberries, grapes, watermelons. Who doesn't like a really big, juicy watermelon? Mm, Especially the juice. I've also seen several videos where You can do different things with the watermelon. Different ways to cut it up. Different ways to blend it. Throw some Powerade in it and drink it straight from the... And pour it in a cup and then drink it that way with Gatorade included and having watermelon flavored Gatorade or water. I 
mean, there's so many things you can do with props. Salads. Fruit salads. Um, and, you know, green bean casserole. I mean, the right the crops bring in a lot of what we eat. We eat meat, we eat crops. Period. We eat from the trees, we eat from the from plants. We all know this. The other nice thing is when it rains, it only rains for a time. It doesn't rain all the time. It only rains sometimes. But when it rains and you're having a really hot day, it cools you down. It fills up pools so you don't have to pay for water as much when your pool is getting refilled after it evaporates. And then you just got to put a little bit of stuff to keep your pools clean. Rain, the water is just a straight up cleansing. And when God talks about being saved, he says that you will never have to drink for the rest of your life because I will make you full with a pit, with water that lasts forever. The living water. I, I couldn't think of the exact words I wanted to use, but I will give you living water, not a water that will thirst your, quench your thirst, Wow, I cannot talk. Not water that can quench your thirst, but water that is living water that will quench your salvation. And then I will make you fishers of men. There are several instances where when God preached, when Jesus came and preached, he preached about water. He used water, that, you know, back in those days when you walked around wash somebody else's feet as a gesture of friendship to us it doesn't mean anything but in that day you walked around in bare feet or sandals and it did not take much to get sand or dirt or even grass trimmings and it, feet were yucky back then not like they're nothing that's not even close to being dirty like it is, was back then today Man, I cannot talk. But Jesus said, I won't give you water to quench your thirst, but I will give you living water. Water that will feed you and third quench your thirst for the rest of your life eternally. I will make you saved. You will be in heaven with me. In the end times, every knee shall bow and every tongue profess that Jesus Christ is Lord. And just like we did in the field, when you hit that end time, and we're in heaven, we're going to slide in that little pile of mud that's going to keep getting bigger and bigger. And, and Jesus is going to just watch us and smile. Then he's like, are you guys done? Let's go back to work. But he's going to give us that time where we can do that sliding. Now, is it actually going to be a slide? I don't know. We like childish things. We're adults, but we still like childish things. I don't care how old you are. Some people like euchre. It is a card game that is lots of fun. Our dad taught us. It was extremely fun. Especially when all my brothers and my dad or friends came over. We had a blast with it. When we're in heaven, just like sliding in that field, we're all going to have different childish games we like to do. And I think if we're made after God's image, He enjoys having a good time. And I really think that we're going to have those times where we're going to be able to have fun and party and just enjoy each other. We're going to be able to slide in, in mud. And we're going to be able to just stand out in the rain. You know? So... This video isn't as long as I usually make it, but I want you to think about that. And in season, I will give you rain to yield its crops, and the trees will bear fruit. Again, there I am kind of paraphrasing a little bit better. An easier way for me to say it. But that's Leviticus 26 4. And Jesus says, I will give you living water. That is the kind of water I want to. I want eternal living water. And to quench my first boat.
it's always good to have your thirst quenched, but to have eternal, your eternal thirst quenched will be even better. You guys, please like, share, and subscribe my videos. And just think about that thought for the day. Leviticus 26.4. It is raining. Some of us will say it's crappy out. But in its own way, it's also very, very beautiful. Like, share, and subscribe. Give me your thoughts. And as you can see, one of my, one of my guys that subscribed to my channel. Thank you. Um... He said to go with a beard or a mustache instead of a beard. I haven't really trimmed. I trimmed and cut my hair, but I have a mustache going. Just for you, bud. Hey, give me a thumbs up. That's all I'm asking. It's just a thumbs up. You guys have a wonderful day. We'll catch you later. Be blessed.